Good afternoon, everybody. Happy holidays. Today has finally arrived. The 2017 MacBook Pro. The higher end this goes for $2,800 retail through Apple's website. And we have it here for you today. So just a quick rundown. This puppy comes with a 512 gigabyte PCIe SSD hard drive. Now what that means is this thing is blazing fast. You have 16 gigabytes of low power DDR3 RAM. So basically you have more memory than you really ever have the, use, the need for. We also have the Radeon 560 graphics card. So not quite a beast for gaming, but for everything else, video editing, uh, multimedia, it should handle just with a plum. So let's go ahead and crack this puppy open. So let's start out by uh, taking Apple's full safe tab. So what we'll do is slide this out right here. And here you go. As you can see, we picked up the silver edition. Okay. Yep. All right, the great unboxing knife. So what we're gonna do is just gonna take a slice right here, peel the puppy open, set that over there. Safety first. Put it on to the side along with the knife, and let's go ahead and get this thing open. Look at that. That is beautiful. 2016, I mean 2017 MacBook Pro. Let's just set this off to the side and look what else is in the box. We also have the USB-C power adapter. Handy dandy uh, books. What do we got in here? Oh, there you go. Fumbling around here. Warranty information, stickers, language translations. We're going to set that off to the side. 85 watt power adapter. Now, in all days, Apple used to give you the extension cable, but they quit giving you that. These days, they just give you the adapter and the actual USB C cable cord. But the good news is, is this is actually detachable now. So, if you, this is not doing it for you, you can actually go out and buy a long one. That off to the side and let's get to the showstopper. 2017. Before we go any further, let's look at the evolution of the MacBook Pros. We have the 2011, 2015, 2017. Now, as you can see, the sizes have gradually become a little bit thinner, a little bit a little bit tighter around the edges and then we make our way all the way up to this for each iteration they basically shave off roughly a pound of weight they accomplish this by mostly taking away from the interior so as you can see it's basically like shaving down the screen in half all the way down to this one what about that, folks? You gotta love Apple's engineering. Just set these away. Now, right, let's go ahead and crack this one open. That is a satisfying sound. So, here you go. The 2017 MacBook Pro. Now, as you can see, we have the blown out mouse pad. It's extra wide, force touch. Basically, this is a sheet of glass. So, I know some people uh, complain about the size. Some people feel that it may be too big, but from what I find, the palm rejection on it is very good. Uh, if you're a graphics designer, a video editor, a DJ, somebody who's gonna be basically making a lot of use of your mouse pad, this is top of the line. The chiclet style, the new uh, low gravity chiclet style keyboard where basically it doesn't travel as much. 
some people have been complaining about the, t the tactile the tactile feedback that they feel like they don't like the effect that it doesn't travel as much because I think it only travels like 0.3 millimeters. I like it. It takes a little getting used to. But the star of this show is the screen and this gorgeous touch bar. So what Apple did, they gave a new display. It's um, 500 nits, so it's quite a bit brighter than all the old laptops. It has uh, the P3 color gamut, so roughly compared to the older Retina MacBook Pro where you was getting um, the sRGB standard, you're getting roughly 25 to 35% more colors in this screen. So it's, your greens should pop, your reds and blues should pop a lot more. You have a wider array of colors that you can see. You also have the 2880 by 1800 display, which is 220 pixels per inch on this bad boy. This is the 15 inch one. The touch bar has is basically built with an AMOLED display. So it's the same technology that you would see in the Apple Watch. That's how come the black remains pretty black and all the colors outside of the icon, they, they pretty much pop. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up and we'll get back to you guys.